Hello, Southern Solitaire. Thank you for joining me for another celebrity channeling of um, Anna Nicole Smith, actually. Um, I wanted to go ahead and do one on her because uh, she was very popular when I was growing up. Um, I saw her struggles from going back and forth with the drug use and the weight. So, um, she was an American model and actress and TV personality. She had her own reality show. She was born on November 28th of, uh, 67 in Houston, Texas. That's where she had met, um, I should have looked his name up, but, um, basically the older guy that she was going through court battles with the son for a very long time. Uh, she died on February, February 8th of 2007 and she died in the hard rock um the hard rock hotel and casino in florida she had two children she had an older son but he ended up did he he did end up passing away right after she gave birth actually i want to say in the hospital room i think he he passed away in the chair in the hospital room and he did have some drugs in his system but for when i remember um i don't remember it being anything super um bad that if they mixed together it should have killed him but i don't i i'm not sure like i said i, I was kind of young when it happened like i said uh like i said the daughter let me see i didn't write down the her daughter's birthday but like i said she died in 2007 so basically let's just say 2000 to uh, 2007 to 2008 so um we're gonna go ahead and get started i already pre-shuffled the cards i'm gonna go ahead and um start the spread because I was shuffling them when I was with you, uh, when talking with you about the facts. So, and I just want to thank you for clicking on the video. I hope you enjoy it. And there's more information in my about section. I do all kinds of reading. So if you have any interest, just email me and let me know. If you got any other uh, questions, just leave it in the comment section. Please uh, subscribe if you have it and please share. So let's see what was going on in the weeks, days, and months leading up to Anna Nicole's death. Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords for the weeks, days, and months, or however far back she wants to show us in her death. So that's, uh, she was given an offer. It was a, a, a mental, like, you know, an analytical offer, a logical offer, something, usually it's business, things like that. Um, so she was offered, and I think uh, that could be the bogus, supposedly, marriage proposal she had with Howard I think it was Howard. The, the lawyer's name was Howard something. But um, underneath the Ace of Swords in reverse, let's see what else was going on. In the months, the days, the week. Yeah, she was having, um, she was she had the Seven of Pentacles. So she was trying to harvest some energy, it seems. Um, but it just was, someone wasn't, um, I think someone was taking advantage of it. I think they were telling her that she had less than what she had. And that it wasn't worth as much as what it, she thought it was. So I think that's what was kind of going on the week's days leading up. I think she was kind of getting cheated out of her money. Yeah, because she was in a Ten of Cups energy. Um, so she was unhappy. She felt unhappy within her home. She felt unhappy, I think, with, with her staff. I think she finally feel, realized how much they were taking advantage of her. Especially her lawyer. I want to say her lawyer's name was Howard Stern, but I really hope it's not... Um, I mean, I hope it's not, but you know, that'd be a coincidence. So for the day that she died, you have the three of cups and we do know on the day that she died, she was, um, taking some drugs. Um, so, you know, uh, she was overindulging. She was partying. She was having a good time. And then let's see what happened when she passed. Yeah, when she passed, she was feeling very, very um, emotional. Um, very, I think, probably angry emotional and sad emotional. I think she was happy to see her son, but sad that she was going to miss being on planet Earth because she loved her life. She loved being able to do things, and I think that bothered her. So, let's see why the Queen of Cups is here, too, for the day she died. That's too many cards. One card, please. Okay, I think the day that she died, um, I remember her making a video, and she was trying to, to show people that she was sober, but she was totally messed up. She looked like her makeup was done by a clown. Um, she was pushing around the baby in a stroller. She was in, um, 
I think at the time this was still the Bahamas, like right after they got married, but you could tell she was spiraling. So let's see what happened right after she died on the other side and how she felt. And oddly enough, I just want to say too, right before I did this, I did a reading for, I'm sorry, for uh, Kurt Cobain. And I forgot to put my lipstick on. So right before I did this reading, which is interesting because it's Anna Nicole Smith, she told me to put my lipstick on. She was like, girl, you need to put your lipstick on. Like, that's what I heard in my head. So, um, thanks. <laughs> thanks for looking out for me. So, let's see how you felt presently right after. I just, I, she still has a very lighthearted energy and fun energy. And she likes to play. And, uh, like, tease you play. And I kind of like to actually play the same way. So, I kind of feel like we're bantering back and forth about little things. <laughs> okay, finally. One second, it jumped. So, for right after she passed, uh, she was using her mind. She uh, realized she came in fast, made, um, probably didn't think it over good enough, and that she ended up, um, I think who who came in to help her was had to come in fast because of the way she died. So, I think that's why the Knight of um, Swords is there. I think whoever came in is an air energy could have been if the past family member or something like that or just the way they came in and the information they gave her but they were trying to um calm her down i think she was very much in shock and distraught because i don't think she thought it would happen um let's see why the knight of swords is here because the four of pentacles is in reverse now, I think the reason that that's in reverse is because once she passed, she realized everything that she had accumulated on earth and worked so hard for was gone. It, like, she was upside down. The Four of Pentacles upright is holding on to everything tight, not letting it go. The Four of Pentacles reverse is it, you drop everything. So, you know, there was her life, her daughter's life. I know her son was gone, but she was still dealing with that. And then her leech of a lawyer who kept trying to, like, take her money. So, yeah, I mean, I think she thought he was her friend or maybe even Daniel Lynn's dad. But I don't know. I just think one of the men were probably on her mind. Okay, so right underneath that, uh, she was a bit unhappy because she felt the four of wands energy in reverse. And I think she felt that because she wished she could have came back and been with her daughter um, I think she was glad to see her son, but I think she missed her daughter. Um, she hadn't had a daughter and, you know, not to say like, oh, because the boy was older, it was okay. I just think that the son had already passed and I think she thought, you know, I could at least, she knew she had changed the girl's name to Danny Lynn. I think she figured she could at least, um, you know, try to make up for anything that she might have done wrong or not or felt that she done wrong the first time, you know, with him and not let the same mistakes happen. I'm sorry. I'm trying to find a card that looks like it was flipped already. That shouldn't be because I'm just shuffling. So, um, this is going to be the, the traditional Rider Waite deck. And I'm going to go ahead and clarify the first row of the weeks, days, and months leading up to her death. So, we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. So, we're going to see why that is here. This card jumped out, and it's because the Six of Swords. So whatever offer was given, they didn't really um, take. And the Six of Swords, they had the opportunity to leave that offer behind, but for whatever reason, she chose not to. So there's a lot of error right here. Um, so I kind of want to say this. I, I don't know what the lawyer was, but um, I think he might have something to do with it because... Air energy is like using your mind. Most um, air signs are salesmen. Um, it's kind of a fact. Um, so I think that they were, uh, I think he was trying to sell her something, you know, and, and she just, you know, she was in and out of it. So she just kind of took his word for it and, and trusted him. So with the seven of pentacles in reverse, she also had the ten of pentacles in reverse for the day that she died. Now, I think she could have had the Ten of Pentacles in reverse it's just because I think she felt defeated. I think she felt that, you know, she, um, I think she felt that emotionally, materialistically, and mentally, she had completely lost everything the days leading up to it. So, I think that's probably why she was using such heavy drugs. 
All right, and the seven or the ten of cups. She had the um, seven of sort wands come out for that, and honestly, I think she had the uh, seven of wands come out for that, and because people were constantly giving her a hard time, even when she was trying to be clean and better herself, it's like nobody ever had anything nice to say about her, you know. And that's the thing that kind of—I'm sorry, I'm going to use the word—it pisses me off because when someone has done something wrong and they try to better themselves, what is the point? When you see that they're doing so, to keep on um, poking, just poking, 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 you know, I think if people would have been more supportive of her, and maybe this is the energy I'm getting from her, and that's why I feel like it's coming off a little bit um, heated, a little bit, because I, I don't normally feel that way, I think she felt she had no support from the people who claimed to be her fans, who claimed to be whatever. I think that... Um, she had just had enough of being made fun of, pretty much, and that was it. And she was sick of defending it. So let's see why the Three of Cups was here for the day, that she, the morning leading up to her death. All right, yeah, she was ready to go. She knew, she. I don't want to say she knew what she was doing, but she knew there was a good possibility that what she was doing could lead to her death. I think she just was over it. She was done with the past, and she was sick of it. And so I think that's kind of why the energy is there. Let's see why the um, Queen of Cups is in reverse for when she passed. All right, the Ace of Cups. So she kind of felt like when she passed that that gave her a new opportunity. And maybe that's why she was defending it with the Seven of Wands. Um, maybe she, you know, was spiritually, because like I said, in the, um, a couple other readings I did, we all sit down with our friends and families and even acquaintances, people, you're, even your enemies, and we all sit here and make a life plan before we even come here. And so hopefully this doesn't make me sound crazy, but there's a lot of um, videos you can find about it and books. But, um, you know, usually you'll trade roles. Like in one life, your mother, you might be your mother's mother or your, your father might be your son. You know, something like that. So uh, maybe she felt when she passed, she had a start, you know, with the Ace of Cups to start over as something better than what... They say, because you have, um, you make about two to three outs uh, in your life plan. So there's about two to three outs in your life plan in the sense of like, if something's not going the way it's supposed to be planned and life is just too hard, you can literally say, like, your body can take that out and say, you know what, I can't take the situation anymore. This was harder than I expected it to be. I'm ready to go back home, which would be the other side. So that is when you pass. Um, so usually that's when it's unexpected accidents things like that. So, um, I just wanted to add that because I don't add it in all my videos and I do need to. So, um, the seven of wands is also here for the day she died. And again, she has the, um, knight of cups or I'm sorry, the knight of wands in reverse for the, um, for the Seven of Wands. So with the Seven of Wands, she was defending herself, but she felt as if um, there was a particular person with the Knight of Wands energy. It's, it comes in and out quickly, only wanting, um, usually that's a passionate knight, the only one that wants to kind of just um, have a good time and then never see you again. That's kind of, so she was defending her energy towards that person um, immediately after her death. So I, and I do think it was her lawyer. I, I don't know why I keep seeing his face, but I think, I think she wanted, um, I don't even know his name, but, uh, Danny Lynn's father to get him, to get her. I'm sorry. Not, uh, the other one who kept claiming they were actually married and things like that. I think once she passed, she realized it was all a gimmick. So, um, with the Knight of Swords coming in, you have the Four of Cups. So the Knight of Swords is trying to, uh, I think tell her, you know, look, you still have, I know you've passed and it was unexpected, but look at all these things that are still here to be offered. You know, you're looking at these cups as in the children, you know, um, you know, maybe her friends, her lifestyle, but here it, it's trying to show her with the Knight of Wands that, or Knight of Swords that you do still have something on this side and, you know, it's time to pass. When everybody passes, it's their time and there's a reason for it. So, um, and we all come here to learn anyway, so... Um, the four of pentacles in reverse is next. So 
The Four of Pentacles in reverse is next because the Knight of Swords is reversed. Now, I think the Knight of Swords is reversed because I think after she uh, passed, I think she finally realized that these people who were taking totally and complete advantage of her could no longer do so. They could no longer manipulate her, steal her money, and make her feel as if she was wrong. Now, um, with all the problems and things that are going on after with the Four of Wands reversed because of the legal battle over the daughter, she felt that it was a very unjustified situation. She knew that the... Um, that her lawyer knew. I'm like, hold on, let me She knew that her lawyer knew that that child was not his. So from the other side, she put used all the energy that she possibly could to send Danny Lynn to his father, or Danny Lynn to her father. I'm sorry. Um. So yeah, uh, that is the afterlife reading I get of Anna Nicole Smith. Like I said, I feel like she has a very light energy, but when you start to talk about the people who took advantage and them putting her daughter through a legal battle, you can feel um, tensions rise a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and do the Purpose of Life Oracle real quick for her. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Like I said, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. We're at 80 subscribers, almost 100. I would love to grow the channel um, so that we can continue to put out all kinds of videos. I do true crime, um, tarot card readings, love general readings, um, and I also do um, celebrity afterlife reading, which is what I'm doing now. So um, if you have any interest in that, you can look at my about section. I have prices in there with it. And like I said, I just hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please share, like, subscribe, comment about the video. And we can just chat about it. Or if there's anything that I left out or got, you know, incorrect, if you feel, go ahead and leave that comment too. And she doesn't want to give a card. Oh, no, that's too many. All right, we'll try one more time. There we go. And she jumped it. And freedom. Something that she always was very um, known to have. Freedom. I know you can't read it. I'll read it to you. But I just want you to see the picture itself. Freedom. You are free to do what you choose. So, I think she wants people to know that she chose to kind of um, take the steps that she took. And she wants others to know that, um, like, as far as freedom, like, she never cared about what people thought about her, um, about her legal fight with the, with the older, um, I want to say he, he owned an oil company, the older gentleman, um, she never you know, discussed it too, too much that I remember not as much as the son did. Um, but, uh, I think all in all, I think she tried her best to live her life the way that she wanted her kids to come up right. But unfortunately, you know, that just turned a completely different direction than what she originally hoped for. So again, I hope you enjoyed the reading. Like I said, it, and I'm sure I've said it three times already, but if you haven't subscribed and you and you do enjoy it, please, you know, hit the subscribe button. Share it with somebody who you think might enjoy it. Go ahead and leave some comments. And um, if there's anything else that you would like me, if there's any other celebrities that you would like me to channel or any other um, true crime readings, go ahead and let me know. Um, I was also going to ask, um, I sit on a Leo Virgo cusp and not very many people believe in that. So I was going to make a section for the cuspies because there are quite a few of them. So, but, um, I wanted y'all just maybe leave a couple of comments in this video. If you could, I meant to mention it in the love readings, but I forgot if you are interested and you sit on a cusp, let me know because like I said, I do, and I, I'm a Leo Virgo cusp and I would be very interested to make a whole section for y'all if y'all are interested in it. So uh, just let me know, like I said, in the comment section down below. So again, thank you for watching the video, and I hope you all have a great night. Thank you.